Hi everyone, it's Chris here from OPMC and today I'm going to run you through some of the important settings on the WooCommerce anti-fraud plugin by OPMC which helps you protect against card attacks and fraud on your WooCommerce site. It's important to note that the OPMC plugin for WooCommerce is the most established best developed plugin for fraud prevention on the marketplace. There are a couple of other developers who have made some products, which they've also named anti-fraud. So look for the OPMC brand when you're buying. Here we are in WooCommerce, the WooCommerce section of your WordPress site. When you get into here, you want to click on settings from the left-hand side and then go into subscription. Uh, what am I saying? Go into anti-fraud. <laughs> I'm going to go into the anti-fraud se section. And what I'll do is I'll cover off the most important things first and then we'll loop back to the other settings. So most important things first are you need to go to the card attack section because... If you are experiencing a card attack right now, which is when you're getting thousands of or hundreds of orders a day or periodically, this is the section that you need to set up first. So the first thing we need to do is the card velocity attack settings and it will tell you whether these things are activated and then we have some other settings here too. But what we want to do first is enable the checkout protection. So Along the top here, we want to go to recapture. Now, you may be wondering about this, and we have a lot of questions from customers. I already am using recapture, and it didn't work to protect my store. Recapture alone is not effective necessarily at preventing fraud at the checkout, especially card attacks. Okay, so if you've got a recapture plugin or tool that you're using this alone can be ineffective the opmc plugin for woocommerce for fraud prevention has years of developed technology which is designed to prevent this these card attacks at the checkout okay so we've developed a whole bunch of technology in our software around recaptures system recapture is an important part of that protection but it is not everything okay so if you are using a recapture tool the reason it's not working is the technology is not there in that plugin to prevent fraud at the checkout okay so when you enable recapture on our plugin it will do a lot more than other providers. So we want to turn that on and you've got some options here, uh, Google Recapture, or you can also use Cloudflare Turnstile if you have some problems with Google Recapture, which some people do. You want to save those settings at the bottom and then you will be protected against card attacks to a certain extent at the checkout. However, if you are using PayPal or Braintree, you need to also go into PayPal settings along the top and you need to go down to PayPal card attack settings and tick this box here, okay? This box is necessary to help protect fraud at the checkout when you have card attacks and you're using PayPal. The previous settings don't do that alone. We've developed the technology to prevent card attacks through PayPal as a separate section of our plugin because it is a really important one that needs its own attention. Okay? And you can configure these settings as well for particular, more specific fine tuning. The other things I would really recommend at this stage is to go back into the card attack settings and you have a whole bunch of other settings down below here 
for a whole bunch of other things which can be helpful. So order attempts, it will block the number of order attempts per hour. If this and other settings are not working, it's probably because either you're using PayPal and you haven't added the PayPal protection on our plugin, or we currently don't support your gateway. Your, most of it, the gateways are supported, but every so often there's a one that doesn't work. So get in touch with us. We can review it for you and help you out. There are some other really great settings like checkout timer delay. This can be really helpful even with low volume card attacks if you're getting like bursts of five or 10 card attacks at a time because every time that card that fraudster attempts to make another transaction, it will be delayed by another 10 seconds. So then they try again, they have to wait 10 seconds. They try again, they need to wait 20 seconds. They try again, they need to wait 30 seconds. So it's an effective way that doesn't impact too much on your existing customers who are not going to be trying five times, but it helps with protection against fraudsters. And there's a whole bunch of other settings down here which you can try and can be really helpful. Moving on from that, the next thing that I would recommend is really important is the AI fraud prevention. So with the AI fraud prevention, we're using ChatGPT to prevent fraud at the checkout. And again, this is not just sending off data randomly to ChatGPT. We have set this up in such a way that it is going to query ChatGPT like an expert in-house security person that detects fraud is going to be. So we feel that it is a really good way to have an in-house expert at a low cost. Now using the ChatGPT, you need to connect to the ChatGPT API. So if you don't know what that means, you'll know that when you use ChatGPT normally, you enter your question into a box. This is a separate paid service and you pay for every time it checks an order. Okay, so uh, there will be additional charges which will come into your account and you often will need to set up a separate section of your uh, ChatGPT account or open I at openai.com to do this and we've sent a link, we've got a link there, get API key, so you know where to go. These would be the things for beginners that I would recommend the most. Moving on from there, we also have integrations with MinFraud, which is a product of MaxMind. And you can enable all of the settings in there and use their service to check for fraud, which is a really great, great service. And they come back with a score. They also have three different products. They've got the fraud score, They've got insights and they've got min fraud factors. And all of those have a different level of protection, which you can read about on maxmind.com. So I'd highly recommend you go check that out. Moving on from there, I think another really good tool that you can use, especially if you are dealing with high value transactions, is Trust Swiftly. The Trust Swiftly integration allows you to protect yourself against fraud by verifying the identity easily of third parties and customers before the order is placed. So it's a really good service. I encourage you to check out their website via the link in the plugin. And this is a really effective way of reducing your risk, especially on high value transactions. So those are the main settings for the most important things in the plugin. And I would recommend those for anyone setting up the plugin for the first time to add those features 
to be best protected against fraud at the checkout. So just to recap on a couple of important points, if you are getting card attacks, you need to go into the recapture section and set up recapture. If you are getting card attacks by PayPal, you need to go in, also need to go into PayPal settings. And in PayPal settings, you need to enable PayPal card attack settings. And if you have a high volume of transactions and you would like an easy way to get an opinion about orders and the level of fraud that they have in them, potential risk, so to speak, you can use the AI fraud prevention from ChatGPT that we've created or the MaxMind min fraud integration. Well, that's all for me for this latest update on our plugin and the, and the key features that you should be setting up, especially in regards to card attacks. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the OPMC team. Thanks, everyone.